Hey guys, this is No Name Four Five Zero Five here for a late night upload because you know what else do I have to do late at night other than narrate videos which I haven't uploaded since a while and yeah Skype is doing its stuff. So let me just go offline really quick and then we will begin the battle. Also, I forgot to mention this in my upload to Pokey's owners the other day, but I hope everyone enjoyed their Forever Alone Awareness Day on um, Tuesday. So anyways, I got an Uber's battle here with the Ibanez Obsession, who's one of my good friends, so this was just a friendly match, and I've got an Ice Uber's team, which you almost never see. In fact, you never see, because this was just a lulzy team, but, you know, it's just being lulzy here, so he's going to out-slow me and get his sand up first, and as you see, FU rocks, that's supposed to be an Espeon, but because the soft is, like, glitching up and not showing the Espeon sprite, I've done, I've had this happen to a couple of other videos, um, just keep in mind that that's Espeon, and yeah, this is a dual screens light clay Espeon. So, I set up a reflect because the majority of his team was physically based, basically besides that, Dialga was all physically based, and, um, he has a mixed T-tar, so that too. So I'm going to go back into my psychopath to get my hail up and then go to these eyes. Anyone get the guess who reference? Because, you know, Fortress's eyes are freaking creepy. And yeah, basically I want to go into my Terrakion here because this is basically just an OU team with a Giratina. And I just wanted to sack Fortress to get that safe switch. And to Sidney Crosby, the Terrakion, because, you know making important plays, getting gold medals. And I miss a stone edge there, and this will be one of three stone edges that I miss in the entire battle. And I rarely miss stone edges, but stone edge screws me over this battle. And of course the one that I hit is gonna be on this Dialga where it doesn't matter, so you know, life sucks. Anyways, I'm gonna switch out go to my suit Q, cause, you know, mysterious. And he's going to drag and tail me out into that crater. As you know, that's where you find him. I'm going to end him with a blizzard there. That crit probably mattered. I don't know if anybody wants to calc that. Mm, calc it, let me know in the comments. Comes in this Ar Arceus rock. And, you know, he's going to hit me with a blizzard. Yeah, freaking Iron Man, this has me saying Arceus. Yeah, OCD moment. Arceus rock. And, yeah. At plus one, I wasn't sure that um, a blizzard would still take him out. So that's why I just went right to the Draco Meteor. And then comes the T-Tar here, and um... Yeah, I'm gonna switch out, because I don't want to take anything from this thing. Yeah, I was predicting the superpower, and you know, I got a few rocks here, and even though SPN has like zero bulk, it's bulky enough for this situation. And yeah, I'm gonna set up a Reflect, and at minus one attack plus Reflect up, that's not gonna KO, and um... At this point, SPN... Is re really can't come back in since he's probably going to set up rocks pretty soon, at least I thought. So I just wanted to at least go down with both my screens up. So once again, to get that safe switch to Sidney Crosby here. And yeah, just going to close combat that something. Yeah, close combat that fortress. So yeah, going to switch out to Psychopath to get the hail back. Hit me with a gyro ball. Um, unless he gets you know, major maximum damage, I could take another gyro ball. So I set up a leech seed here because most of those things are max HP and um, he didn't have any grass on his team so I thought I could just set up a free leech seed here. But you know, he gets a crit. So it comes that crit. I'm running with a blizzard and even though it's resisted since Fortress isn't especially bulky and the sand's not up so he doesn't get the, um, the times 1.5 boost. Um, and he's just going to get killed off there by Leech Seed, so I guess it was a good thing that I did put it on. But unfortunately, that means I lose the Weather War, and also because of that, I missed the Blizzard. And, uh, he gets his rocks up, so, um, at this point, Ibanez and me are both, like, GG, because originally this was just a lulzy battle that I had with, um, a f fairly lulzy team. It's not really a lulzy team, it's just a lulzy concept. Because if they do make a new form with Kareem, then Hail and Ubers will be legit. Otherwise, it's not really legit. Even though I like it, just because I have to be different. So yeah, I'm, I lost both my screens after this turn, and this Lugia is just going to keep trolling me here by making me miss Stone Edges later on in the battle. But that's later on in the battle. 
So, you know, I got Sue's Q here doing what it does. He's gonna set up a reflect, that's fine. So, um, yeah. I'm gonna get this. Oh, this is the Will of the West that I missed. That's the second Will of the West that I hit, but he dragon tails me out first. And, um, you know what's gonna happen next. Stone Edge miss number two. He's gonna roost all that health back, but I know in a previous battle that I could get lucky with a crit and finish him off. Which is why that first miss mattered, or the second miss technically. But the first miss in a row. Now with that miss Stone Edge, I'm out of Stone Edges. So that sucks. So anyway, in comes Suzy Q, and um, I'm gonna hit that Will of Wisp, which is important because it's really nice to get some residual damage because. Um, even with lefties, Lugia's not going to be getting any health back in the sand, and it's going to lose 13% every turn, which is always helpful. So anyway, since I'm out of Stone Edges, I have to hit him with X Scissors. And because he's going to set his Reflect back up, he's just not going to be cooperative. But, I get a crit, and I kind of hacked over Ibanez a little bit in this battle. Actually, a lot of it, but, um, you know, I'm not complaining. Because, because I don't get a crit this time, that light screen's gonna be there, and be like, yeah, that X scissor's gonna do, like, nothing. So, yeah. And then comes, you know, me getting another crit. And I'm just gonna drag a tail me out into Suzy Q, the Giratina. And because I did get that burn off earlier, I told you that that was critical, that is critical, because that's gonna kill Lugia, which was a complete wall. And then comes Rayquaza, and, um... It's still a threat, so yeah, I'm gonna Shadow Sneak just because I know this thing's gonna Oko me, and I just wanted to, um, get some damage on it before I left, and I also get a crit there, if you guys didn't notice, but I did. So anyways, in comes Sidney Crosby, and he's getting extreme speed me, which is probably his first mistake here, because of the fact that, um, he may have possibly been able to live a close combat from that range with that life orb, um, I doubt it, but you never know. Crazy things have happened, and because of that, his last pokes T-Tar, you know. And I make that comeback, you know, against the Ibanez Obsession with the Sand and Ubers. My Ice and Ubers took out his Sand and Ubers because I got that Sidney Crosby named, or no, frig, I can't talk, that Terrakion named Sidney Crosby because... It's just so clutch, and it's just so pro, and it's just the golden child, and it also needs to go to Ubers. You know, just like they have the SCHL, the Sidney Crosby Hockey League, where it's just him playing by himself because he's too good for the NHL, even though right now he's dead. They've got to have, like, the Terrakion League, which is, like, only Terrakion, because it's too good for Ubers, because you just saw what it did to the Ubers tier. It does more than this in OU. So it definitely should at least go to Ubers, but it can still take out four or five pokes easily in Ubers. So yeah, Terrakion's like so messed up that it's too broken for Ubers. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe guys. I've gone way beyond my time limit here because, you know, I've just been rambling on. And peace.